distinguished yourself in battle, amigo. You are worthy of my eyes. You may use this ship, the Black Skull, anytime you like. Ah, many thanks to you. This ship can get us back to Rockport in no time. Let us get away from this coconut pit and back home. Come, everybody. Ah, uh, I can't wait to get home. We've been looking forward to this for so long. Returning home alive is all the treasure I need. For real. Now, get this boat moving. Well, that is all there is to it. Then am I not correct? To see, Captain Mario. Ah, uh, Mario. We're going to say here. It's been tough at times, but I think we like this place. Yes, I think I can make a fine life here with my sweet Frankie. Hey, Mario, give my regards to the boss, will you? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here. It's a right nice place to live without any ghosts, hey? I'm sure they'll be alright here, don't you think? Let's leave, Mario. Ready, amigos? Cast off! One star they circled, and thus our adventure came to an exciting end. Ah, the ship sailed smoothly onto, onto, onto Rockport, and soon we saw the harbor of our bow. I did not find treasure, but I am satisfied nonetheless, strange to us though it sounds. For I have found something even more precious than the balloons, yes? Even now, I hear the crew. Readying to talk. The time is ripe to close this journal. To all who wander the seas, Flavio's blessing upon you. Flavio. At last we return, stuttered, in glory to my hometown, sweet Rogueport. Of course, it is only because of my courageous efforts that we return at all. Ah! But of course, you all know that and know it well. Yes, yes, Master Flavio. But now, please excuse us, perhaps chains will bring us all together again someday. What? Hey, hey where are you? You are leaving already? Ah, oh, that was harsh. Such is life, Captain Mario. You are anxious to continue your own adventure also, huh? One day, you may surpass the great and fabulous Flavio. In greatness and fabulousness, it is not likely, I assure you, but you should, how you say, shoot for the stars, ah? Huh? If ever you should reach the pinnacle, remember to shout Flavio to the wind. That reminds me, amigo. If you ever get the urge to return to Kilhole Key, just say the word, okay? I will send you to the island faster than the fastest winds blow, comprende? Yes. Yes, you giant skull. You, your time in the spotlight is done. Get over yourself. Ahem. <clears throat> well, my adoring fans have gone, so I will be excusing myself now as well. If you see me in town, I'll permit you to say hello to me. May we meet again, okay? So, Mario, don't you think maybe we should go to? Maybe go to the door? Yes, we should. Oh, Mario, listen. That must be an email from Princess Peach. Dearest Mario, I have good news. I don't know where I'm being held, but there is an odd computer called Tech here. By cooperating with this Tech, I managed to obtain some of these fiends' data. Tech is currently analyzing it, and strange as it may sound, I trust him. Once his analysis is done, I should be able to provide you with details of their plans. I'll email you again once I learn more. Be okay, be good, okay? Princess Speech. Oh my, that princess of yours is so courageous. We better get to work too. What's up, everybody? My name is Franco, and welcome back to Paper Mario The Tells in Your Door. Last time, we played a speech, and uh, she uh, got naked. Ooh. <laughs> Thanks to an invisible potion. 
uh, she drank an, an invisible potion, but because uh, the clothes uh, weren't getting uh, transparent, she had to undress herself. So that's the reason why she was naked. And uh, Bowser and Lord Crump uh, presumably died in uh, Twilight Town. So that's interesting. <laughs> Don't make your little brother worry. Be careful when you go out to see from now on. So there were ghosts, hey? I don't care what kind of ship you got, I, I have been paralyzed. But hey, coming back on a better ship than you left on, it's quite a score. My big brother came back safe and sound. It's all thanks to you. Thank you, Mario. Wow, those guys all look excited. They didn't get rich, but I still kind of envy them. Oh, Luigi. Well, I got another piece of that marvelous compass. At Jazafra's town this time. Bro, I'm telling you, I turned it venturing into an art form on that little quest too. I was pretty naughty I, it was pretty nutty, bro. When I hear what happened, it's a pretty long story. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of the story you wanna hear, bro? Jazafra's town. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here we go. As soon as we hit Jazafra's town, we were overcome by the glitz and the glamour. It's a very li lively place, bro. Tons of daisies live there, and they're always smiling. While looking for the piece, piece of the compass, I met a hip daisy named Hazy. Hazy was a producer, and he was looking for actors to go on stage with him. I told him we couldn't, we couldn't since we were looking for the compass part, you know? But Hazy said we could win the compass part in the upcoming drama slam. He said the so-called Drama Llama play can bite, in fact it'd be one of the parts. Well, we just had to give give it a try. So we rehearsed with the cast and hit the stage. Our musical was called The Mystery of the Fiery Hat. Wait, The Mystery of Fiery Hat of Social Awareness. T M F H S A. Okay. The script was great, but I got really uh, host, bro. My role, my part, was grass. I put grass by the side of the road. Grass, bro, grass. I just sprawled out to the ground and had to be signed. Everyone but me had lines. I don't care if I was wearing green. Who cares someone based on that? It was awful. In the end, our musical was the talk of the town and we won the drama slam. I got the compass part I was after, but even that didn't make me very happy. The huge after party just bummed me out more, so I snuck out the bucket door. But wow, outside were tons of fans, my fans, fans of grass, they swarmed me. I just couldn't believe it, imagine, cheering for grass. I was ecstatic, bro. After that, I did the piece of the marvelous compass, which pointed north. It pointed to the rapturous ruins of Grimble Forest. Then, the voice again. Oh, my cherished Princess Eclair, how oh, you soothe me. I will be grass for you. I will find you. I will reach you. I will stand by you, by your side, and be your Luigi. Wow, sorry about that, bro. Um, so yeah, anyway, then I got back on my boat. I came back to Rockport, and here I am, another leg of my adventure completed. Alright. And what about you? I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi is a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on a tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Hey, so this guy is... he's not mad, mad at him, so I guess the, the, this story was true. Alright, so here we have a boat panel that we can use. And we can go all the way over here. So I can already see a star piece. And there's a treasure chest. The HP drain. Drop Mario's attack power by one, but we can what HP per attack. I don't want that. And there's a, a TV. Okay, so we just robbed uh, somebody. All right. So 
So, now that we have Admiral Bowery by our side, there's a lot of things that we can open up. Thanks to him. So, let's see. Hey, 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 yo! Let's see, what do you have? Double pain? Why would you want that? No. Your thing st sucks. Oh, we got an email. RDM issue 4. Broke port today, dusk today. Gomez, age 40. Known for napping in the flower in the west side park, was found eating, some, uh, eating flowers and given a stern warning by authorities. Asked before coming, Gomez stated, Well, I just really, really, really love flowers. And I was hanging out, and before I knew it, they're in my mouth. I'm so ashamed. Citizen of Rogueboy responded with disbelief and grudging support for the strengthening of flower conservation efforts. Shop reporter gold. This time, we introduced the Twilight Shop. Watching the husband and wife proprietor of this shop at work is a heart heartwarming sight, but don't get on their hobby the hubby's bad side. Don't you go smiling on my wife, says the jovially jealous shopkeeper. I'm hers for life, and your friends in big city teeth aren't gonna change that. Well, who could doubt their eternal love? Surely not this reporter. We press the shopkeeper for further comments, but regret that his words are unprintable here. Wow. But we did learn from the little miss misses that there will be a double point sale for all RDM readers, just show her this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Cooking for rookies. Alright, my little rookies, we're on an intermediate level recipe today. The dish is a healthy uh, salad, just slice up a, a turtle leaf, leaf and a horsetail mix. Uh, a horsetail, mix them together, and you're done. Great for dieters. Editor's note, that's all for today, but check out our, uh, your mailbox soon for an ex another exciting issue. Published by Rogueport Restoration Committee. Interesting. Alright, so... What we can do... Is go right over here. And throw a bomb. And we have a Shine Sprite. And wait. Yeah, that, that's a, a, a star piece. Right here. Uh other thing that we can do is oh hi Merlin oh what impeccable timing yes this was distant when I consulted my star charts I saw a portentous sign for you Mario it went uh, thusly in the house of the dragon that flew through the air beyond the reversible stair near the empty black chest that curse you lies a clue to help your allies learn i have no idea what this means unfortunately but i have no doubt of its importance as a side for you and your friends if you figure out this mystery come and tell me immediately oh boy uh right her right over here here, I think it's faster. Crap. It's faster just to go through the roof instead of walking. You can just go right over here. There's I saw I saw that. Right over here, we can use. I think we can use Yoshi. Yes. Yes. Got another shine sprite. And right over here, there's a boat panel. Mm. 
and we can use it to get that treasure chest. And we have double dip. During battle, use two items in one turn. And that's pretty much it. All right. <laughs> now in the sewers. We have this block or this crack with a pipe. This will lead us here in the background. Hi. Hehehehe, <laughs> welcome to Cheat to Cheat Repo's Adjustment House. This is where you come to adjust your abilities or your partner ranks. If you want some adjustments done, talk to me from the other side. Hehehehe, <laughs> you've come quite a, uh, a ways. This is Cheat Repo's Adjustment House. If you think you want to change your abilities or your partner's rank, then I can adjust those things for the low, low price of 39 coins. So, need some adjustment? No. I think we're all good. So I think this is just to switch up uh, your partners. Or if you want to change uh, your uh, level up. So if you want to switch up uh, your, flower, your FP for some BP or stuff like that. So we have 34 star points. Item hug. Huh, pretty lucky. I want that. Uh, power plus. And a power plus P. And why not? All right, we have this one, kaboom. So now we can come through here. And we can now go this way. If we want to go to Twilight Town or Twilight Town or the tele teleportation uh, pipes. I think, no, that's not where they are. So I'm going to Twilight Town quickly just to uh, get some items in the shop and s going to uh, get my uh, double points. Gonna take advantage of that. Because I am out of items. So let's get uh, one life shroom. Um, how do you show her? How do you show them the the thing? Do we show it like this? Is this how we show it? Oh yeah, okay. So let's use, let's buy those. And a bunch of those. And one coin short for a. Uh, uh, super shroom, but that's okay. Uh, what about the points? Um, okay, okay. All right, that's good.
And now let's go back to where we're. Bowser and Lord Crump are not there. So like I said, I think they are dead. Um, the next thing that we can do is um, go to a uh, hooktail castle, which is faster this way, actually. Okay, at the same time, could. Uh, get our oh wait I don't have enough money for that I think it's uh, 50 for the special course never mind that maybe I'll go back to the Pianta parlor and grind for some money so here there is another boat panel and I think we can use it to yes can use it for a shine sprite and there's this pipe that's going to tease us for the time being we can't go over there yet all right so I'm gonna go back to hook the castle and I'll meet you in a bit. Alright. So right over here we need Bobbery. And there's a crack here. Oh. There we go. And by going here, we have a treasure. We got an up arrow. It's unclear what this means. You should ask somebody. All right, let's go back to Rogueport. All right, we are back in Rogueport, so let's go talk with Merlin. There you go. What's this? An up arrow? An up arrow? Up? Of course! This is the Ultra Stone. So that was the star side main. I picked this up at a flea market years ago and forgot it was in the attic. With this, I can power up your partners even more. We're cooking now. Let me know when you want me to power up your allies more. <laughs> That's so dumb. Let's power up Bobbery. Jazibi Shazubi. All right, let's power up um, Gumbella. You can use Rally Wink to up Mario's attack turns by one. Interesting. Shasubi!
Alright, Coops, you can use Shell Slam to attack all ground enemies. Furry can use Dodgy Fog to make Mario dodgy. Hidori can use Stampede to attack all ground enemies. Can use Infantry to confuse all enemies. Can use Bobombas to attack all enemies. And can use Smooch to boost Mario's HP. I think... I will go with... Mm, hmm, which one? I will close my eyes and... Okay. All right, I will close my eyes and hopefully get either Vivian or Bowery. Three, two, one. Vivian. All right. Shazubi. We bagel. All right, so we did quite a few stuff by exploring around uh, town to get uh, to check on the boat panels and all the cracked walls. So I think this is a good spot to stop. And next time we are going to do some uh, quests in the trouble center so hopefully i hope you enjoyed this episode it was pretty chill we are back in Bogport, and next time we are going to do some quests and hopefully they won't be as annoying as that hot dog one see you guys next time good bye